Uh, my name is Lee Roberts. I'm a senior games designer on the RaceNet service. It's an online hub uh, for all of our racing titles. It gives uh, players like a single profile that they carry across each game. So kind of every game therefore was kind of connected. Um, beta for the past year, so we supported the Showdown, uh, F1 2012 and F1 Race Stars and kind of the beta tags are coming off of Grid 2 as we launched kind of the full version of the system. In Grid 2, we've got a Global Challenge Mode, and it's an asynchronous event, so players who can compete against each other when they're not on the console by setting times and scores. And we've moved this to a kind of a weekly system, so kind of every seven days you're going to get nine new events in the game. And the idea with this is to move away from that kind of notion of legacy leaderboards, where that person's like kind of number one forever and ever and ever. It means that everyone has kind of an equal chance to hit that top spot, and we mix up car and track combinations too. So whereas certain players may find that a certain track and a certain car combination are, are perfect for, for that setup. When we introduce a new car into the mix, it means they have to change their, the way they drive and their style. So it kind of encourages people to compete with one another and kind of top the leaderboards every single week rather than forever. going to be four modes we cover um, through Global Challenge events. We've got Overtake, Checkpoint, uh, Power Lap and Drift. So kind of in Drift it's all about score and Checkpoint's all about distance, so Power Lap's all about time and uh, I think Overtake's all about score too. So kind of they cover a variety of different kind of numbers to you know, sit on those leaderboards. Kind of and mixing the cars and the tracks up with them too mean there's always a new challenge to face each week. Yeah, so we've got um, six rival slots you can set up. Uh, the first one's like a weekly rival, and this is a rivalry that's uh, given to you by Racenet. So Racenet looks at your XP and your play style and your region and kind of matches you with the most closest opponent you can have. So it creates kind of a quite a close rivalry there. Then in addition to this, we've got custom rivals, and this allows you to kind of set parameters on Racenet. So maybe you want to challenge somebody who's got higher XP than you, or maybe you want to challenge somebody who's not in your region, or say likes drift events or overtake events. You can set them up with custom rivals. And then we've also got social rivals, and with social rivalries, we're encouraging players to kind of set up rivalries with their friends. But in addition to this, we're allowing you to kind of challenge previous weekly and uh, custom rivals too. So if you've enjoyed a rivalry with, say, a, a weekly rival, that person will then show in your social rival stops the week after. And it means you can then tag them up as a social rival as well. And that rivalry will last forever. So we were keen to kind of focus on uh, showing off player achievements rather than kind of just allowing you to spam uh, Facebook with I've just traveled this many miles or that. So they can share stats that are actually valid and actually worth showing off. With um, the YouTube videos in particular, we're kind of linking it back in with our kind of followers on Racenet. So you kind of get fame as you compete in multiplayer modes and you gain followers from rivals and from competing in global challenge modes. You're also going to get a followers boost for uploading YouTube as well. So when you upload a YouTube video, you'll get a little followers boost to kind of encourage you to do it. And then the idea that we showcase these videos on the service too means it gives it a legitimacy that they can actually kind of share this data and it, it kind of makes a purpose to it all rather than it just be going a, a casual kind of post on Facebook or a, a casual tweet to Twitter. I think, yeah, so the Autolog system it, is a really good system. I think it kind of upped competition, I think, and that's really good for us because we're always looking to kind of up our game and having that competi competitive nature, it's really, really good. I think for us, probably the, the thing that distinguishes us from that system is probably the rival system. With Autolog, it's all about the friends on your list and setting times versus your friends, whereas with kind of weekly and custom rivals, this is assigning you a rival who isn't on your friends list, who is completely new, could be somewhere in across the world, but it means there's always there someone to challenge with kind of systems that rely on your friends if they go away on holiday for a bit it means that competition kind of tails off a little bit with uh, custom and weekly rivals the competition is always there week on week so we've got kind of a, a long-term plan for the service as a whole and um, obviously we're kind of supporting every game that we've got come out now we've done 
what four now i think it's our fourth title we've supported and constantly looking forward i think for us there's a interesting kind of next gen and where that goes and how we can integrate within those systems i think that's going to be really interesting and the cake you know the actual technologies that are going to be provided could be huge for us and um, for grid itself uh, we're looking to kind of add new objectives so kind of new targets for the player to hit so within RaceNet, we have kind of race net objectives for grid two and these challenge the player to kind of achieve certain milestones and we're going to add to those as we go forward and then kind of in the future kind of work on different features and different items that we can add to our games to extend the experiences so uh, Grid 2 is released the 31st of May this year, uh, Racenet's uh, there day one, so you'll be able to kind of get rivalries going and, and set yourself up on global challenges straight away.